Hey guys, it's Mike. I wanted to try something a little different today, and I wanted to highlight one of my favorite neighborhoods outside of the city, and that is Stoneham. Now, Stoneham is about 10 miles north of the city, so depending on traffic, it could be a half hour to an hour plus, depending on if there's events going on in the city or whatnot. And it's a really nice place to live. And this is one place that when we have people that are relocating to the area, this is one place that I always recommend just because it's there's a lot to do. It's a really central location and you're close to the beaches. You could be up in New Hampshire in a short amount of time. It's just a really nice central spot. Beyond that, there's a lot to do. But one of the questions or one of the things I should say that we go over a lot with our clients is the school zones because a lot of times people get confused with where they could send their kids to elementary school and sometimes parents want to send their kids to a certain school depending on if they have friends that are going to the school or whatever. So I just wanted to pinpoint and show you guys some things today um, regarding that. So I'm going to share my screen here with you. And first of all, I want to show you this. This is important, okay? I had the one spot labeled here, but I'm just going to go over this briefly. So this top section here, if you buy a house in this location, right, this is really close to the one golf course. This is Robin Hood Elementary, right? The middle here to here, I know it's a little bit different color, but this is South Elementary and this is Colonial Park. They're all great schools. And what I did was I linked the school, the actual uh, public website. You could just click these, they'll take you there. And if you want the ratings, I really like using niche or niche, however you want to pronounce it. Just if you want to get some overall feedback. As a young parent, that's important to us. So we have a two and a half year old and we have a four week old. So obviously ratings, what other parents think and stuff like that is going to be important to us. I mean, so you'll have access to this. It just sent, just send me a message in the comments and I'll, I'll link it up to you. But um, that's, that's the schools. Now, Actually, you know what I'll show you? I wasn't gonna do this, but this is this is how it looks, right? This is the town of Stoneham, this, this section here. And this is my website, right? So depending on, if, if you go to this little, the little graduation cap, if you click on show schools on map, it's gonna show you, I just have the elementaries pulled, but it's gonna show you the zones for the elementary schools. And it's going to, if you just click view homes in this school district, that is specifically going to show you homes in that school district. That is it. Now, as for what school district is better or where the houses are better priced, that's all stuff that, you know, you could figure out with your own research. But normally, like up or up closer to uh, the golf course here, sometimes the homes are a little more expensive. But it really depends. And it depends on the style of the home, how big it is, how renovated and stuff like that. So that's how that works. And I'll just give you an example. If I click on this. It's gonna pull Robin Hood. This is Robin Hood Elementary in Stoneham. Look, there's a new listing here. But uh, this is gonna pull what's active, what's under contract, and and uh, you know you can kind of browse from there. But anyway, that's how the schools work. So there's those three separate zones. A lot of times that is important to parents, right? Overall, Stoneham has had a pretty large increase in property value since 2019 to 2020. Um, in 20, this is let me see here. In 2019, we had 595. In 2020, we're at 633. So I mean, the property values went up a lot. That had a lot to do with uh, inventory. Obviously, there was less inventory. Properties are selling faster. I mean, look at you have 15 days to to get an offer on a house. So if you're a new buyer looking for a home, not rushing you. I'm just saying like there is always offer deadlines, and a lot of times those agents respect those deadlines and sellers respect them. But other times, if the seller gets something incredible prior to the deadline, sometimes they'll accept that offer. So that is something to be aware of. Okay. And I also have condos pulled now. Obviously, there's not there's not a ton of condos available in Stoneham. Um, there have been more that have been built recently, but uh, obviously you could get into a condo for a lot cheaper than you could for a single family home. That's pretty much the entire market is like that. So that's the overall market. And again, I could send you this stuff, but this is what I wanted to break into and I wanted to really highlight because we have young kids, You know, we have a two and a half year old and a four week old, and I wanted to get into attractions, the recreational things to do, restaurants and seasonal events. Now, this isn't everything to do in Stoneham, okay? This is our favorite things to do in Stoneham. So I'm gonna highlight those things. So don't be offended if you don't see a restaurant here or your business or whatever. This is just what we do with our kids, okay? So attractions, the, the farmer's market, the, the common, this is right in the center of town. 
and there's always things going on there. You have you have the farmer's market, you have the ice skating rink in the wintertime. We're gonna go over this stuff, but there's it's just a central location. Right across the street, you have the post office and you have a coffee shop there. And it's a really, it's always decorated nice in the wintertime and it's well-kept. People do yoga there in the summer. It's, it's really cool to see. The Stone Zoo. The Stone Zoo, in my opinion, is amazing. I love it because there's a decent amount of parking for the amount of people that they let in there, usually. Uh, and there's always events going on there. It's always clean, well taken care of, and it's just a really nice thing to do if you have nothing else to do with your with your kids. So we always bring our daughter here. We love it. Um, the Greater Boston Stage Company, the Stoneham Theater, that's right in town. There's always stuff going on there. I don't know how much they have been doing since COVID, so sorry if I misspoke. I, I'm really not 100% sure. And then the Main Street, right? It has all these businesses, restaurants. There's always people walking around and it's just very lively uh, town. It's, it's really cool to even just drive through, whether it's the summer or it's the winter and everything is decorated. So it's it's a really cute little town. I, I like it a lot. So recreational things. So before we had kids, I used to mountain bike a lot. The Middlesex Fells, you could access this. There's so many access points. So this has a link directly to the website. And you could, if you like uh, outdoor stuff, like mountain biking, hiking, snowshoeing, this is an awesome place for that. You just have to be careful because I, I think that the biking trails are separate from the walking or hiking trails. So just, you know, respect everybody's, respect everybody's space. Spot Pond. Um, I personally have not fished or went boating or anything like that yet, but a lot of people do. And I think there's a trail that goes around a portion or most of Spot Pond that I see a lot of people walking on. And uh, it's a really nice spot too. The Greenway, the Tri, uh, Tri Community Greenway. This, this connects to three different towns, I think. I don't know how long it is and what it was originally, but it's paved. I'm not sure if you could take a bike there. Uh, or your dog, but I see both. So I'm not 100% sure because we usually go to the fells. We like taking our daughter in the woods. That's where my wife likes going. Now skating, Sona Marina. That's right on Montvale Avenue. Um, and then obviously in the, like I said before, in the middle of town, the common usually has a big ice skating rink in the winter time too, okay? Restaurants. Now don't get offended if you're not on here because this is just my me and my family's personal, uh, personal places that we like to go. Whoops. Italian, let me, let me make these smaller. Italian, we like, I think it's pronounced Gatanos. I'm Italian, right? I'm from an Italian town. This place is awesome. Their pasta is always good. Their pizza is always really good. And their take, like when you get takeout there, it's always consistent, right? Sometimes you get takeout from one place and it's good and then you get it again and it's not that great. It's always consistent there, which is what I really like. All of their food seems to be really good there. Cafes, Pishala Sip, right across from uh, the Stone of Common area. Awesome coffee. They have snacks, treats, stuff like that. Asian, I know there's a lot of different Asian places around, but Fusion Taste always is on point. Their dinners are awesome. Their sushi's awesome. They're very friendly in there, and it's very high quality food. It's awesome. Now, we haven't been or gotten takeout from these two in a while, but uh, probably since COVID, so that's my bad. But um, the Stones and Nobility Hill Tavern. So, when pre-COVID, we would always go there, get a beer, get a burger. Their food, both places are always excellent. Um, very, very good. Quick takeout, Royal Roast Beef. Really, good. this is down from um, the center of town. So this is this is, uh, this is is a little bit, maybe like a mile down from the center of town, but um, awesome wings. They have really good pizza. My daughter likes their pizza because it's thicker crust. So they're good. Deli works, same thing, um, but they also have good hoagies. I like their hoagies from there. Angelo's. Thinner crust pizza, and they have different types of hoagies, Italian hoagies, and just meatball hoagie sauce, like really good hoagies too. And I can't, Aaron's, that's the first of it. I, 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 Aaron's Taco Cartel. This is my favorite, this is uh, my favorite Mexican food place, right? It's awesome. They, they're very reasonably priced tacos. Always good. Every single time we're there, they're always awesome. Seasonal events. This is... This is really why I like Stoneham, and even for people that are traveling into Stoneham, uh, maybe they don't want to live here, but they're traveling too. The Stone Zoo has Easter events. They have the Boo at the Zoo, another uh, a Halloween event. In town, they have the Halloween stroll and the pumpkin lighting, right? Thanksgiving, the Farmer's Market and Town Hall. Stone Zoo again, the Zoo Lights, uh, it's amazing. I mean, like if, if, 
if you ever have a chance to go, go. If you have to travel to, to get here, just go. It's, re it's a really nice thing to do with your kids. I've never been to the Whip Hill Mansion, okay? But I heard that's awesome. Um, the Festival of Trees, that's where they light the tree in the middle of town. And then the theater, which I have not seen this play yet, but I heard it's 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 really cool. It's Miracle on 34th Street during uh, during Christmas time. So that's it. That's, uh, oh no, wait, we do have a little more. My bad. Where we take our kids. This is actually really important. So there's a couple different playgrounds and parks in Stoneham, and I think they're actually rebuilding uh, this one, the Steel Playground. I think I saw plans for this, but Steel Playground, this is right in town, and uh, it's a nice playground. It has a mix of, like, I think, I'm trying to think of the last time we were there, but it has a nice mix of, like, like bigger kids and, and little kid type things because some, sometimes, like, if the stuff to go on is, is too big for, like, a two-year-old, it's not great, but this place is pretty good. Greenwood Park, another good one. Rounds Playground, another good one. And this is links to the GPS coordinates, so you just click them. And um, the splash pad, this is really close to us, the splash pad in the pool. So very, doesn't cost a lot of money to get in here. And pre-COVID, we were here all the time because it is so close to us. It's awesome. It's a great place to take your kids. So these places are all really great um, to, bring, to bring your kids to. But that's it, that's all I wanted to do. Wanted to highlight some of the things in Stoneham. These are our favorite spots. If you're not on here, I'm sorry. It's just, this is where, this is our normal go-to. This is what we do, this is where we go to. The other things I'll tell you about Stoneham, just because the location is pretty central, there's a lot, you're, you're really close to a lot of different things to do because it is a central spot, right? So you could be at the beach in 20 minutes. You could be to, be to uh, Revere Beach in 20 minutes. You could go to the Burlington Mall in like 10 minutes, right? And they have a little play area by the uh, food court for kids. You could go to the beaches up at Gloucester and those are about a half hour away if there's not a ton of traffic. You could be up in New Hampshire in 45 minutes and you could go to the beaches up in New Hampshire. It's just a really good spot and there's easy highway access to get to go north or to go south. It's it's very easy to jump on the highways. Um, and then uh, if you go east of town, there's Melrose. You could go to Melrose Highlands and you could take the train into the city if you wanted to. Just be fair warning, parking there is sometimes difficult. So you might drive there and find out that there's nowhere to park. It's just sometimes it's crazy. A lot of people go there to get into town or to get into the city for work. I haven't been to the city in a long time because of COVID, but my office is right on Boylston Street. So but that's it. I'm gonna give, um, just shoot me a comment if you, or a message if you want access to this. And I'm gonna up, uh, I'm gonna try to keep updating this too with relevant things that me and my family do. And uh, just overall market stuff, because you know I think it's important for people that wanna move and they're either moving outside of the city or they're relocating to the area. I think that, I think that Stoneham is a great place to be. I think it's a great place to live, so. I hope this cleared up some other things or some other areas that you might have been looking at. I'm going to do more of these too. I'm going to cover the surrounding towns too. One last thing, the Winchester Hospital is super close. It is from us. I mean, it's like five minutes away. She just delivered uh, our, our son a couple of weeks ago. And I mean, just the ease of getting in and out of the hospital was just awesome. They're very good there. We really like it there. They took good care of my wife. So uh, that's it. If you want to see another spot or another location, I'm going to start building these out even further. Like I'll do Woburn, places we sell in, you know what I mean? Other than the city, uh, Melrose, Woburn, uh, we're going to cover all of these places. And I'm just going to go over our favorite things too, because we do go to all these places uh, with our kids. We try to do as much as we can with them. So that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if there's, like I said, if there's a specific town you want me to cover or break down more market statistics in that town, let me know and I will do that for you. And uh, that's it, okay? Have a great day, guys. Bye.